Well, good morning, everyone. You join both John Burgess and Pat Toto here in Surabaya, Indonesia, for the second day of competition at the DBL Arena. We have got another fabulous day of competition ahead of us. The Axiata Cup is certainly alive and well in this second season of competition. We're just awaiting the arrival of the gladiators, you might say, of this competition, because it is going to be the home crowd favorites who will be coming to the court first, Indonesia and Singapore. And there you can see the lineup for this one. And believe it or not, it's a totally different Indonesian team from the one they put up yesterday that uh, so comprehensively beat Vietnam by 4-0. Just four matches up. The only one missing from a regular tournament would be the uh, women's doubles. And here they come. It's uh, a very, very impressive arrival. And you have to say, there's no doubt at all that the, uh, the Singapore squad will be learning a huge amount from this experience. Not only the lights and the sounds and the, the fact that they are in the spotlight, but it's all about the challenge in the Axiata Cup of new people coming forward, stepping forward to the plate and showing that they have what it takes to compete at the highest level. It's the most thrilling new formula and format and I'm sure that the Singapore group that are on show here will learn a huge amount, not only about themselves, but about uh, how the event is run worldwide and how it is improving over every successive year. They won yesterday. They did a really good job against uh, a very, very good Europe All-Stars team. They won by 3-1. The only loser was Singha Ying, who lost to Carolina Mabin. But uh, all the others got through. Ashton Chen beat Scott Evans. Danny Krishnanto, together with Vanessa Neo, beat Nathan Robertson. Don't forget, former world champion, of course. And now with Jenny Woolwick, although Nathan's retired uh, from major competition is still a big force to be reckoned with and then in the final match in Singapore Liu Yi and Terry Yeo beat uh, Ivan Sosanov and Vladimir Ivanov we've got the Indonesians coming out now to uh, again great approval from the crowd here in Surabaya as I mentioned before they're a totally different team from the one we saw yesterday on that occasion Sawadi and Manukuti were the victors Together with Samantha Santosa, Aprilia Lioswandari, and Mohamed Ulinuha, together with Ricky Suwadi. Now we've got coming up for all of us to enjoy the women's singles will be uh, competed with uh, Linda Veni Ferriantri. And uh, also Tommy Sugiato will be on court second up. Mohamed Richard, together with Debbie Susanto, will be in the mixed doubles. Pratama together with Saputro. All household names down in this part of the world, and I'm sure in many other parts of the world as well. It's going to be thrilling as we just go through the final arrivals of the Indonesian team. And as I mentioned before, I've got with me, I'm delighted to say, but Toto Darmaji, he knows a bit about Indonesian uh, badminton, that is for sure. He's been covering it for decades, and I know that he's thrilled by the whole idea and concept of the Axiata Cup coming to Surabaya. Toto. Yes, one thing about Axiata Cup that intrigued me the most is about competing with one another and finding that who's going to be representing that country in the next decade or the next few years ahead. We have many many new players especially we saw yesterday from philippine as you all were john there were some prospect there there's some players that could have gone that may be gone into something more than just a player in the regional and now the indonesian of course with uh, loads of talent but it has been down for the last maybe the last five years or eight years since the Great era of Susi Susanti, great era of Alan Budi Kusuma, all the uh, great du men's double players such as Ricky Rexy, Orchandra uh, Wijaya, and Tony Gunawan. They're in process to get better, 
And with this competition, once again, we always discuss about the financially. It was a great amount of money. And I am very positively that this could go something special in the future. Well, we are talking about over a million US dollars here for this event. Nine days of competition in total. We've got, uh, we've got uh, four days now, three days uh, in the next week, and there's a break before the semi-finals and finals, but we are talking about a five days of preliminary, and in total, in fact, all these teams will be playing 28 matches altogether, and the most important thing to remember, if you're watching for the first time, the Axiata Cup, is that every single matchup counts. Because it's not so much the team winning, it's the individuals or the doubles that are, uh, will be playing and pairing up. They have got to get as many points on the board as possible. So at the end of the day, we'll have a rank order, 28 matches played. At the moment, Indonesia are 4-0, but uh, Singapore are 3-1. So it means that uh, uh, in a rank order situation, Indonesia heading uh, Singapore at the moment. Now, Singapore, if they go 2-2 or if they go 3-1 down here, obviously those uh, matches are added together. So at the end of 28 games and matchups, you have the maximum number of points, and the top four will go through to the semi-finals, and then obviously after the semi-finals, we'll get the final on the final day. And Indonesia are the defending champions. And in fact, it was a big disappointment for the Malaysians, I know, because they were hoping to be able to get one of their team through. The format has changed. It's including women. As you can see, we've got two right in front of us, real classy players. And uh, they have, um, we have a mixed doubles uh, event as well. So there has been improvements, there have been changes, and certainly uh, in terms of the, the way in which this is now developing, the Atsiata Cup has included other players and teams from around Europe and also from uh, from Asia as well. So we've got uh, six of the regional teams all representing themselves, of course. No uh, stringers coming in from elsewhere or ringers coming in from elsewhere. And uh, then the two major guest teams from outside. So it's uh, all looking really good. Eddie uh, Rupianto is in the chair. And uh, service judge ready. We're ready to kick off. We've got eight matches for you today uh, four in the first session another four later on and we've got uh, also malaysia versus thailand uh, later on so some great activity on this day two of the axiata cup will be underway in just a couple of moments tell us a little bit uh, toto about fanetri uh, fanetri is the number one player for indonesian women single and she has played okay, for the last five ready. years in the oh. national team training together and uh, once again she's improving but what we are looking for for Indonesian team is uh, women singles that can they can count it. I'm talking about the top eight, the top five. It's not going to be easy because the contingency from Chinese players is a whole lot that can be competing it. And as well as there's some players from India now, the Europeans coming with a youngster as well. So uh, the Indonesian is in the trail of searching for that missing player. In terms of their relative rankings, the current world ranking for Fenetri is 19. The Indonesian player, Ting Ying, the Singapore representative, currently ranked at 41, although she has been up to 31. So just a little bit on the back foot a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Ting Ying, originally from Jiangsu right. province in Singapore, China. Singapore, represented by Ting Ying. First match of the second day of competition and on my here left, in the Axiata Cup. Indonesia, represented by Linda Weni Fanetri. So, Indonesia to level play. Linda Fenetrisa. <laughs> Linda Fenetri is being coached by Lucy Chan, is the former coach of the Fifty Two. So, so one, one thing about her as a coach, she used to try to uh, mirror the way to play the way Fuji is played. That is long, so two points there for Sing Yin. She had a really, really rude awakening yesterday in her matchup. She lost it 21-12, 21-12 against Carolina Madlin. 
I was surprised, John. Yeah, I was too. This is now a really good start for the Singapore representative. She's three, down to three zero, five. and she hasn't put a foot wrong yet. She's actually looking very, very calm. She's gliding around the court. I'm very impressed at the moment. John, I mean the coach, I was looking at her coach so saying that, calm down, calm down. One, three. It is difficult for home expectations, you know, you'd think it uh, could be an advantage, but it could be quite the opposite. It could tense you up. It's very difficult. It's one, three. I just believe that the expectation is far more greater Two, for the... Three. Stability of Indonesian um, women's side, John, because once again, we have history. Everybody expecting that it's easy to produce players such as Mia Aldina or Susan Santi. <laughs> it's no. Oh, no. <laughs> 200 million people, you still, you know, it's hard, very, very tough. Distracted there by uh, some sound problem inside the GBL arena. This is good, very good net play. I tell you, it must be an advantage, Toto. She has already felt the atmosphere. She's felt the disappointment. She knows exactly what the expectation is. And, of course, Linda Vaini uh, Fanitri is here for the first time. So it'll take a while for her to settle. Yeah, you're right. Which is, uh, this is the first time that Linda is on the court. And uh, yesterday, the loss of a Jing uh, Ying to Caroline was very surprising to me, especially in the first too. the problem with the right. will continue and distracts the players. <laughs> another one. That's really sad. Great play. Once again, pushing it all the way back for Ting Ai Ying. I can tell already, and I, I must admit, I haven't seen much of Linda Vaini uh, for Nitri, but she has got a power play. She's got much more aggression. She doesn't so much glide around. She is really, really hunting it down. She's got uh, flames coming from the nostrils. You can tell she's quite aggressive. Well, I'm not so sure where the sounds come from from the or from the side. Five, four. Uh, yeah. got some uh, students there and they're giving uh, Fenitri a little bit of a come on, let's go. Not eerie in here, but that's noise. <laughs> is trying to play very aggressive at the earlier part she was very reluctant to be aggressive and she was behind and now she's putting many pressure and of course usually when you're being aggressive uh, that awkward error can be keeping up Ayin knows that she's uh, she's actually scored a, an opening point literally because she's uh, forced Benetri to change her racket which means that uh, you know, you blame your tools, don't you, when things are not going quite <laughs> as well you planned. It's six five to Singapore. Play. You know, it's, it's a unit that you said about your uh, racket. So I used to have a, a coach that oh. Indra Gunawan said, you know, never blame on your racket no in the court. Because you know what, that's the only time that you got. The only friend you've got, you've got loads of enemies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be nice.
nice video record. So the solar, seven, The other six. thing, of course, psychologically, you know that you've scored some kind of uh, higher perspective when the, when the, the opponent does look at them something else. Never blame themselves up really. Set in, they call it in. Yeah. Yeah, they call it in. Yeah. He's looking around. I think he, I think she's called, yeah, oh. she's been called out. No, he was called out. Yes. Yeah. 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 Not easy from the, the normal camera. This girl sing a ying. That's very good. Eight seven. Well played. So that patient part is paying it off right now from uh, fourth final three. Line so seven. easy from this distance, though, Toto, isn't it? You know, we're looking at, we're, we're calling it, but. When you're down on court and you're into the moment, you know, you've got your brain is bubbling a little bit, you really want to get into it. It's so tough to have, you know, a logical approach to the, to the game. You now she's in, she can actually take real advantage. Yeah. Three in a row. That's a brilliant return by Samantha. And she already has learned she doesn't have to be extravagant with this attack. No, no. She's just got to have variety. Good control, by Samaria. That's a good. Three point two. Surrendering about three or four points in a row. Yeah. That's it. We come to the end of all. It's 11 points to 8. Yeah, I've seen so many of that, John. I mean, yeah, an important point. Yeah, you can't uh, afford to give points away. It's so hard to, uh, to get the points in the bag. You just don't want to throw them away once they're there. But, um, yeah, this is a really interesting battle. Ching Ai Ying started out very, very well, took a, an early comprehensive lead, and and they three managed to find a way, and, uh, and I think it's that solid consistency. Keep the variety, keep the opponent guessing. She's got beautiful shots, there's no question about that. But I tell you, you, you mentioned some fantastic names there, and Susie, of course. I mean, not only is she the legend, and I guess, you know, as time goes on, the legend becomes larger and larger, bigger and bigger. That's the normal way, but I tell you, she was starting special. Unbelievable. You know, it's simple badminton, but it's very effective. And she is making it more Bravo. difficult for her to get a good return. That smash right there is from the short return from Ching Ying. Not high enough. Yeah. Oh, it's out. I think so. Yeah. Well, that just shows she's getting a little, a little bit desperate. You know, she's, uh, she's trying having a to hard. try to get those lines. And it's, yeah. Good for the home favorite for me. Again, 
Good control. He was small. Well, it's all change and change eight. about, isn't it? We've got uh, 14 8 at the moment. Nothing that Sing Ying can do. She's contributing to her own downfall. Lots of errors here at the moment. Oh, you had it too. I thought that she was going to go through down the line right there instead of cross. The interesting thing here, Toto, is she's very athletic and she expects a better of herself. That was the thing. She knew she's capable of playing that shot. Yes. 9-14. We haven't mentioned the, the drift in here. There's, you mentioned yesterday that it was tends to be circular here with the aircon bubbling yes. away. I don't quite know where that puts us in end to end stuff. Wow, once again, being aggressive. Reading it correctly. So the solo. Conventional, I would say it's almost an old fashioned approach, isn't it? Get it deep and then put the pressure on, bring your opponent in with the second and third shot, and then you can really, really keep the pressure on the rally. A very good play. 16 10. Oh, almost. She had it too. Yep. Certainly she Love was there to touch uh, Eleven, I would think if I was the Indonesian coach at the moment, I'd be pretty happy because she had to adapt from early on, got a bit nervous. And now she's in a really great position to take this first game home. 11-16. A Ying of Singapore. Oh, he was well inside. <laughs> she was confused. Yeah. Not knowing what to do, or you can, sometimes you get lost in the middle of the court. Well, that's unusual. At this level, you know, missing it by 20 centimeters is a long way. Tried so Seven. hard to get out from this pressure, and uh, you start second guessing the shot too. She hit the tape, but at 18-11, she's in real trouble here in this opening game. Ting Ying. Wow. She needs a few more of that. Double solo. 12, 18. Let's see if she changes, changes tactics here very similar and it's not been successful in the latter half of this game yeah she did she is she's listened to you oh, it's gone it's gone 1912 that was a very nice play though it was it was like a very nice rally but again, accuracy is important. she played a lot quicker and uh, her serve, she changed it from long one to the short. Well, she get, had two games to 12 in yesterday, so is that ominous? <laughs> no, she got 13. <laughs> Unlucky for some. <laughs> Very lucky for Aye. <laughs> She's off the dreaded 12. Long way to go, 13-19. Let's see if it's going to be a short one. Yes, he is. It was really loose, wasn't it? Yes. Again, though, 
it's mentally, Dimitri has uh, definitely got the upper hand here. And that's what put pressure, it puts pressure on Ayu. Trying to get those lines. There's no confidence there. It's hit and hope. That's not good. It's game point 2013. Lindo Eni for Nitri. Looking at the line more than the shuttlecock. Three so options so she had there, and she 14, took the wrong one. 20. In fact, by the time she'd made her mind up, she'd already, it was too late. Yes. The shuttle was gone past her. 14 20, though, six game points still. Ai Ying will serve. Wow. That's better. Just that little bit of extra space on the right side, on the forehand side. She was squeezed out the last time she tried it. That's why the shuttle went out of court. This time, there was a little bit more space. She pushed it out into the backhand, first of all. 15-20. They, they will both learn a lot from this, uh, this first game. That's out. Uh, he is hitting the shuttlecock much earlier now, the last couple points from Inaying. 16. 20. We've got the mop coming in here. Fenetri was uh, complaining that she might have had a little slip there. Okay, thank you. But this is a good break for Ting Ying. Well, even if she doesn't win the game, which is unlikely to, at least she's managed to find a little bit more form and consistency. Right. Good. Again. Yep, 17 yes. 20. Like you mentioned, John, Massey is confident she has something 20. that she can take a break from from playing against Vanetri. Well, yesterday's matchups, we had a 4 0 4 0. I think we'd be really, really struggling. And in fact, there wasn't a game that went against the winner. So I think we could have a long day here today, Toto. Yes. Ooh, that's it, it's 21 17. Fernetri eventually crosses the line in a crawl. It wasn't a bang. There was uh, a little bit of hesitation about that, but I think Zika Ying will certainly take some comfort from the fact that she, she put a bit of pressure on at the end there, and there was some. Certainly, there was a little bit of unease, but uh, it doesn't matter. Indonesia have taken the first 21 17, and it's a great start to the second day of the Axiata Cup. Well, Indonesia won the game, Linda Weni Fenetri, but I think Singa Ying will come out to court, and there she's just testing the speed of the shuttle again, that one went well wide. As we have a look at uh, the overall camera position, there are two courts here inside the DBL arena in Surabaya, second largest city in Indonesia, on the island of Java, and we've got... Uh, Something like, oh, well, certainly over three million people Port here. One, it's got a yes, lot of history one, and heritage. And one thing I did find out today, Toto, is actually I've been playing a fair bit of golf in my many decades in Southeast Asia. And I've been called and I've called other people, Boyas. Now, Boya meaning Boya. crocodile. Sura Boya means, what, shark crocodile. Is that right? Yes, there you true. go. Well, there's <laughs> Second game, first point. Yeah. Do you think that she can sustain this ring aggression? Well, one down. she actually, I think, you know, that first game was very interesting because she started out well. And it, I mean, history might repeat itself right here now. But she's had a good look at her opponent and she's 
obviously felt the strengths and the weaknesses here. Let's just see whether or not she can push Benitri around. Well, you're right. This is starting the same way. Two Definitely, I think we're behind, we're behind four here. Out of court, yeah. 3-0. You know, there's not a huge amount of aggression here. There's a lot of touch play. There's, uh, it's tentative. They're not really looking for the openings early in the rallies. So, so it's coming down to errors. That's better. Yeah, it could be the both players trying to feel the drift. Just shows that they're both a bit tentative and a bit wary of one another. They don't want to be committing. But that was uh, that was a good shot to get off the mark in this second game. One three. Great play. Nice touch by Panetti. It certainly was. Singayin really at sixes and sevens there. She almost got to it. it uh, the shuttle reached the tape, but she was always struggling, having to put the racket through right to the fingertips in order to reach it. So no control there. Two three. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. It was a cracker. Fenitri, don't look around. It was absolutely perfect. Disappointment, Four, maybe, but it look, just look at this now. It's the top, top end. Ooh. Top of the line. Yeah, top of the line, maybe. Team. It was close. It Much closer. Way, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, it's no wonder that uh, she did look around. It could have gone either way. 4 2. It was a brilliant, brilliant net shot. Absolutely yeah. vertical. Most shots at the net are going to have an angle on them. Double there was no one. angle on that. It was totally vertical. Nothing for Singing to play four. with. And when we're looking at those net shots, and I mentioned just now when she was stretching Singing to play, isn't it interesting that the, the racket uh, in badminton is so much lighter than any other racket sport, really, and you can actually maneuver and manipulate it through the fingers. You know, normally you would hold it quite tight there. That was on the line. Good shot for, yes. for five three. But when you are stretching, you can allow it to just go five, a little bit further into three. the fingertips. So you just get that extra millimetre or two. That's one thing about that. This shot too is so important. Yeah. There's a bit of a gap here at 6-3. I wouldn't be surprised if we weren't looking at uh, a rubber game here. It's... Uh, it shaped up like that second half of the uh, of the first game. Very competitive. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there was a moment in time it looked like she'd actually stop, was gonna leave it, and then suddenly six. decided to play it, and that was disappointing for A Ying. A little bit of a break here for Fenetri. She was happy with that. Four six. Wild and loose. And I can see the coach saying, hey, come on, get that Four. wrist over the top. Let's get some action on it. You don't need to go so wide. Quick rally would benefit from the touch. It was a blind touch, which Eight. made it even more impressive. Four. That was all feel. I think the women tend to play that shot more than the men. They, 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 they have the feeling. They, yeah, exactly. Ah. Oh, this is a huge thing for them. Line four. Line three. Line three. Line three. Well, she's got to think, what is working? Why am I leading by five? I just continue to do more of the same. 
Out of sorts. Yeah. 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 I had a feeling that the athlete seems like he lost uh, uh, composure or maybe concentration at the moment. I think it's concentration. He shouldn't be losing any composure. He won the first game. Sure. Oh! Mm, not that much. So the players struggling to get the accuracy five. at the moment. At five oh. ten, Xing Ying definitely got the upper hand. It's the interval in the second game, and uh, Xing Ayin has made a big, big impression and improvement. Coach is coming to have a, a chat here, but I've no doubt at all. It's, it's actually difficult to put your finger on it, but I think that Fenetri's game has just dropped off the pace a little bit. Rather than Xing Ayin actually doing anything special, she's keeping the shuttle in rally, and Fenetri is trying a little bit too hard and missing the lines. Yeah, that missing line, there's a few of them, I think four of them, the unforced error, that gaining point for Singha Ying. But, of course, credit to Singha Ying, after going behind the first second. game, one. John, I think she, she, what, won uh, the points. She was, like, down 19-13, 19-12 at one point. Uh, she did really well. I mean, we, we thought it, she was going to lose by 12, if you remember. Yes. So, 11 5, Xing Ayin, Singapore. It's Singapore versus Indonesia. Second day of Axiata Cup competition, and that is good. Lovely, lovely lift over the top. Double solo. A lot of, uh, there was a lot of dummy Lava. about that as well, wasn't there? A lot yeah. of deceit. Great shot. Well inside the baseline there. fighting hard here. She wants to finish this in two. She doesn't dare risk it going to a third. so well, the opportunity was there. Seven. She was actually pushing Zingayin all over the court, not having to work very hard herself, and then got loose at the net. No good. Well, seven. Gee, I love that shot. That's a beautiful. Shocker, but I tell you, that shot from Panetri, where she's playing the drop from the forehand side, it is just exquisite. She did it twice in a row, and it's, it's very deceptive. and the mental confidence to do it. It's 9-12. I wouldn't be at all surprised if Fanita didn't come through and take this game out. Great wow. shot! Oh, yes! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Even the coach is clapping the hand. Very surprising. Came from nowhere. No kidding. Flat. Nice. Beautiful place. Yes. 
really developing this matchup now. There's a lot of determination, both sides of the net. Xing Ying is actually, she's missed a few of the really important uh, final moments, final strokes of the rally. Benetri, much more composed. She's a little bit more athletic, I think. She's got that reach behind her head. So in the backhand court. And there we go, a little bit more pressure, 11-13. Good, uh, good battle. This first game of the second day of competition at Seattle Cup. Singapore versus Indonesia. And in fact, it is for the TV court today. It's all Southeast Asia battle. Malaysia versus Thailand. Singapore versus Indonesia. Can't get any more local than that. Yes. Even the favorite, I think, Thailand, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Yeah. And the three strongest teams. fantastic in the early or the middle part of the game but here she gets within touching distance got back within one which is a great achievement in itself and now she's dropped off it by three which is crazy on two errors the same error too that oh. backhand net building Linda Vaini Fanitri can really put the pressure on here. She's got the service. Yeah. She needs some uh, be aggressive again. And maybe she needs to get one or two net shots that, uh, that are working she misses, for her. Yes. Yeah, yeah, right. uh -huh. Get that confidence back. Because if you take that away from the armory, then you really are in trouble. You've got to get those net shots up. Okay, this is a, an actually a very, very good fight back here by Fanetri. She was under the cosh, and now it's back to 15 all. That time she 
did make it. And now she'll finish off. Oh, oh, it oh no. <laughs> it's not. Oh, dear. oh well, that Six was three. impetuous. Was yes. Striking control at that stage. It was. She'd done everything she needed to do. A lovely little net shot. Got her confidence back. Developed uh, a kill shot. And it went long. Hey, it was not easy for Sing Ai Ying to avoid that one. <laughs> Celebrated it. Yeah. 16-15. Bit of time. Yeah, but she snatched with it. You know, she wasn't in a great position. It was a lovely play for the four. But uh, having gone back on to that forehand of the backhand side, tried to play the forehand with it. She was never near it. She wasn't early enough on it. She should have played a clear. Tried to go for big one. 16 all. Well, right. That's the result of it. She knew that she'd made an error on the last one. Suddenly, two in a row makes uh, that's the first time in this game for Nick has been in the lead. Yeah, I think Ayin immediately after she took that shot, she just calmed down. She knew what she had to do to be patient. Oh, that's good. That is very poor. That's pressure. That's what it does. You make one error and you're still making that error th three in a row because you're thinking about the problem. You've got to play every point as it comes. Oh, There's wow. another one. That is really, really poor mental management. My speechless the way she's playing right now. The last, just the last three points. She has been playing so beautifully. It just shows there's a big gap in her mental strength. There's yeah. no question. She had a really solid, good lead. We were talking about taking three. A rubber game. Top and that's a poor service there. You know, under these Five. pressure situations, you just keep it in play. But I'm not surprised to see this. I mean, yesterday, 12 and 12, Ai Ying lost. A little bit better this time round. 19, 17, she's still struggling. Oh. That's better. 18. Very much better, you're right. How much she has left in her game in this game. It's going to be pressing now. Really is a great fight back by Ayin. Oh. That three unforced error, it's such a shame, Don. Really. Both these girls have found it hard to get across the line. 19 all. It's out. Right. Yes. It's out. <laughs> You know what, I feel like I'm riding a roller coaster yeah. going up and down, up and down. Can you imagine what the coach is doing? Yes. Frustration, ecstasy. Oh, yo. 20 points to 19. Xing Ai Ying can force a rubber game right here. Game point. And Ting Ai Ying of Singapore has fought back well. It really was a roller coaster. Linda Wenny Fanetri started out poorly, picked up after really struggling for most of the early part, and then came back to lead. But to no avail, it's one all in games and really all to play for. This is a game. It's frustrating for the coach because the consistency is lacking. It's not just from one player, but both players. It seems like they catch momentum and they let go a few unforced error. And especially the last one when Panetti had a chance. 1916 with the three unforced error by Sing Ai Ying. John, we were talking about uh, this game is over, you know? Yeah. And uh, suddenly, 
I don't know how she gets it back. She reached deep in her and she was able to overcome and greatly want the second game. Amazing, amazing uh, match so far. Well, it's our first uh, rubber game after well, this being the first of this second day matchups. We had a clean sheet, so to speak, 2-0 on all the matches, the eight matches that we witnessed yesterday. We start out today with a, a three-gamer. But Not John, yeah, sorry. What's your, sorry, interested that the coach from Singapore spoke to Singing Ying all the way through the three minutes that break. And uh, Finitri had probably 30 Both seconds one, chat with second. the coach, and she left one her alone. Second. Well, the great thing is for Ching Ai Ying, she was facing defeat there in that game, and she fought back. So in, mentally, she must be feeling not just relief, but she must be feeling pretty comfortable and confident because she knows that her opponent is capable of making mistakes. And if you can keep those Final rallies game. going and keep the pressure on, level. those mistakes will keep coming. Play. It's level, third game then. Ching Ai Ying will serve for Singapore. Game of confidence, mm. and, and the way One, it looks right go. now, the only part of the third game, you can see that the girls in purple is a lot more comfortable in the court. Well, she played, I mean, it was a good rally. Both players really playing well. But what she did there, there was a, there was a, a, a net shot from Fenetri that was brilliant, and Angle got it back and kept the pressure on, kept the shot in the rally. So it's a lot more confidence. Good battle here. Now that's out. Yes. Service so over. Uh, One first two games, Panetti fell behind by three and four, and uh, now she's fighting back. But this is the beauty of the Axiata Cup. They've now found that they can match each other, and they can really, really learn from this experience. Uh, they've forgotten, forgotten that they're on television, that they're in the centre. It's now a battle of wills one. and individual talents. That makes it very exciting to watch. 2-1 Indonesia, brilliant forehand there from Fenetri. Good, isn't it? Good yes. stuff. It's very, very good badminton. Wow. wow. Superb. No, really, really. You can feel that these these girls oh, now, they're going to cut out the errors, oh, cut out oh. the mistakes. If they can play with this rally intensity, I can tell you now we're going to be well entertained. It's beautiful. Good to watch. That was an amazing shot by Ching Ali. Two all. It's right there. Yeah, we, we're being treated to some really, really good stuff. Three, I tell you, both two. girls playing at the top of their game at the moment. They've been indifferent before. There's, a, as you say, roller coaster up and down. But now the intensity is such that we are watching excellent play. Hey, John, the way I looked at it, you know, Four, at the two. earlier part of this game, Fanatri was controlling the tempo of the match. The way I look at it right now, Ching Ai Ying is controlling the tempo. She's certainly Just giving that point. impression. Yes. But from what we've seen, historically, she can't hold that intensity. That's, that's, that's what's so fasc fascinating <laughs> about this. She can keep it going for a few points, but then she loses that intensity. We'll see. We'll see. 4-2. 
it's the way. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's, it's inexcusable. It's yeah. wild. It's not just wild. It's so yeah. way, way out of court. After Three, playing so brilliantly four. for five, six points. Three, four. It keeps things interesting here for mid three six. the last couple of times Four, able to pull that off yeah but there was pressure on her Fenetri was placing well she was uh, always putting pressure on Ayin eventually she had to succumb to four all but again there's a lot of very very good play out there lots of variety we should be pleased that uh, we've got this on our TV court it's an excellent matchup it's the best match in the tournament Oh, I'm lucky. You know, some, some people, and certainly at the Five, net, they practice those, four. don't they? Hit the tape <laughs> and get the feathers just creeping over the top. It's the best shot in the book if you can play it. Mm -hmm. Five, four. Ah, Ying. No, no good. There he goes. She had this lap, too. Four. I'm talking about the penetry. Mm. Don't let us down. We've had a great standard of play here. We do not want to lose that. 6 4. You know, but she was not in a great position. You see where she yeah. finished the, the actual shot there. She was Her way feet off. were splayed. She was actually leaning away from it. So the the chances of getting it in court were very slim. I mean, it was a great shot, but she was in a very difficult position. Five, six. Yes, good play, definitely. Six, four. Very rare, key point, short point. But she did well to spot it early. That was, uh, that was very good. Six all. Once again, she comes out on top. That's three points in a row for Fenetri, and she very, very much deserves that. Kept the pressure on, got the crowd interested as well. They were really, really excited by that. And oh. again, I say, we've been treated to a really, really good matchup. <laughs> I am privileged to be here, right? So, like I said, that, that point probably one of the bigger one, the biggest and better point in rally for both players. And uh, it's, it was not just Fenetri, but I thought that Thing Ying had the opportunity as well to put pressure. You know, the fascinating thing, Toto, is that we're looking now at world rank 19 for Netri and world rank 41 for Ying. But that is not just the disparity of uh, ranking positions, but the fact that we are looking down the list a little bit, it doesn't matter. Badminton is the victor here. It's absolutely yes. brilliant uh -huh. that we can see such excellent talent on display. We're not watching one and two, but no, we no, are no. seeing some really super stuff. No. But I thought that shuttle was in. Yeah, Ai Ying thought it was out, and the coach thinks it's out, but, uh, well, I guess we will have a chance to, to look at it. I thought it was out as well. Yes. It was certainly very, very uh, 
tight, we know that, but hey, you've got to gotta believe the officials. They're there for a job. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, it was out. Oh, it was out. Yeah, I think yes. it was. And this is one thing that the, I thought the badminton should reconsider about the oh, overruling yeah. the call, you know. But I know it's not easy because uh, the position of the umpire, especially in the far side. And they're talking about poor kind of stuff like that, using... Uh, the magic eye to check it out, but to be quite honest, I think that would take a lot away. But I guess at the world championship level, or you know, where it's really, really, you know, the Olympic Games, this kind of stuff, that's it's got merit. Technology definitely keeps pace with the sport, sometimes dictates the sport. Yeah, that was a great play by Kim Aying after failing that. She was being cheated, draw, and then she was able to come back and winning that. Well, you can see her, re her reaction yes. showed exactly that. She was very, very pleased with that one. She's pretty determined, young lady. She doesn't show much. She doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve, but wow. Inside, she is very determined. She hurt yesterday. It's a 9-7. Change ends, of course, another two points. A great play. Disappointed with that. We'll, uh, um, she's rallying well, but uh, it's the power play of Finitri that she's worried about. So trying to keep it long, really, really deep, it means that she's risking the line. 10 7. Well, that didn't work. That yeah. short serve. She's been playing the long serve for most of the, the match. And then plays a short serve and gets caught out at the net. Well, we'll see what the Singaporean girl has now. Down two. Oh, it is good. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. Very difficult. We're in a good position here, right above the court, but uh, I can't quite see. I've got equipment in my way to see it live, and on the TV, sometimes I miss it too. So it's a really, really good lift this time. It's 9 10. Ching Ai Ying. She's puffing a little bit. They'll need a good rub down and uh, a good shower after this. They've really put some work in. Oh, brilliant play! Yeah. It's ah. hey, I tell you what, both girls deserve huge plaudits from that. Okay. It was a fantastic shot from Fenetri, but what a get by Ai Ying. Yes, because I thought that was going to be winner by Fenetri, but she was Superb. able to duck it in. Yeah. <laughs> It was, not a, it was a brilliant return, too, the placement. 10 all. This will be the last point they play at this end. Play. The ends they are finding themselves right now. Aying serve. <laughs> what a fantastic fight that. Four points in a row for Xing Aying. And she was really, really determined. Did you know what the, the change was? Her attitude after she thought she was actually that uh, call. compromised that with call. that call, yeah. yeah. 
Since then, she felt, oh, that little bit of extra. It's only millimeters of extra energy and effort, but it's worked. And look at this, 11-10 as they change it. I just believe that Ching Ai Ying or Panetti now starting to question because uh, every shot that she throws it in, Ching Ai Ying was able to return it. So um, she could have had gone either way. But once again, the will of the Singaporean girl has to be applauded. Whatever way we look at it, we can talk about each individual rally and the shots played and the complaints about this and that, and they should have done this. But the bottom line is, both these players are incredibly well matched. I mean, it's the kind of, if you had a khaki like this, uh, you yeah. played every Friday or Saturday night, like, you, you would win 10 times, the other guy would win 10 times. Huh? It's that kind of, you know, you know that they're so, so close in terms of experience and talent. And another two, like I think about the ranking. If you're playing like this kind of match right now, throw away the ranking. I mean, it's just two players are putting their best to win the game. Well, I think both you know, Singapore and Indonesia will like this. I think Singapore actually will probably be happier with what they've seen. Disappointed yesterday, but now the uh, Ai Ying is putting up a great fight. 11-10. Fabulous rally, fabulous rally to, uh, to kick off the second half of this uh, final game. Super, 11-all, it's 1-all, it's 11-all, it's all the ones, and I tell you, they couldn't be separated on court as well as on the scoreboard. Difficult to know whether you can actually enjoy something that's so tight and close. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's all of them, yes. Oh. Well, that's unusual because that, that long serve has done, done really well, but that was, uh, it's unusual to see the, the point finished with the, the receiving of the serve. 12-11. That surprises Finetti completely off guard. That was wide. Yeah. Trying to do the same thing. But this is why the lack of concentration from the Indonesian single. Uh, we're seeing it. Do you think lack of endurance too is not helping for that three? She's got that very heavy bandage on her right knee, you know, and, and uh, just pulling off a couple of points there, and then she, she works a little bit hard, gets a bit tight, a bit tense, and then the fitness levels, am I really that fit if I put the work in? It's all question marks right here, 14-11. Yeah. Again, the power play might just bail around. So you never so know. Well. Yeah, that's what she has for well. right that that The power play, the power smash, but she needs to get there to be able to take a huge uh, shot. See, interestingly, Ai Ying knows that, and it's just going to put it deep, put it long, and it's really got to get it out there. But knowing that uh, Ai Ying. Uh, knowing that Fenetri actually has really only got that power, she can drop the net a little bit more. She can play a lot of variety of shots. Keep the pressure on. There you go. Yes. She gets a lack of a uh, so endurance. And, uh, when the endurance is low, wow. usually concentration goes with it too. I mean, it wasn't a brilliant shot, but it no. was a poor one from Fenetri. It's late on reaction. Uh, there uh, it is right uh, there. Uh, she once again. Uh, uh. She read it perfectly. And, uh, suddenly that concentration and belief in her starting to go out of the window here for Indonesian Fanatri. Yeah, good stuff. You know, that power again, that smash is really the secret of Fenetri. If I can keep that smash under control, 
then obviously she can win this. But uh, you wouldn't discount for Nitra even now. The beautiful thing about the Axiata Cup, Toto, is that every single match counts. Okay, yeah. we've got another, what, seven, uh, eight days? Well, this, is the, oh, we get, this is the second day, so another seven, eight days to go of competition. But every single match that's played is almost like a final to get through to the final stages. You've got to play as if it is a final. So it's not like a regular competition. Good. Oh, it's a Yes, it is. Yeah, that's new. It was risky, but yeah. good on her. Like you said, that Singa Ying has to stay away from a short ball. Or keep, yeah, keep away from that forehand. That's the, that's the thing. Well, they have put in a huge amount of effort. They are very, very tired at the moment. 14-16. Benitri hanging on here by the fingertips. Good work. Yeah. Good work there, Benitri. Ah Ying, she wasn't far from her body, but she was a little bit slow, a bit lazy about this one. Didn't get to it. 15-16. Wow. Yep. Once again, probably both players are fatigued. It's Hopefully, play a big part of this. Well, we had a doubles match yesterday. It, we w it wasn't on our TV court, but uh, the Europe against uh, Singapore match in the mixed doubles, it went to 20 29 30. Yeah. 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 As far as we can go. Well, that's a good shot from Ayun. That'll settle her nerves a little bit because she was just a bit annoyed at missing a couple of them. Fanatic got a hold. Commentators always say, who wants it more? Who actually wants it in their hearts? What's the desire? Great pick up, but look, it's gone. 16 17. Again, it was that powerful forehand that caused the problems. I even could not match it. I just got to stay away from the attack from uh, okay, three. A few more duck feathers uh, exchange. I was told somewhere it's, it's only from the left wing of the duck. That can't be right, can it? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of guys, a nice. lot of ducks flying around in circles. Yes. <laughs> but I went to the right side. Oh, yeah. 16, 17. Big point this. Oh, uh, yes. Seven yeah. to yeah. is coming back now. All the point. One by Fnatty by all his smash, all powerful shots. <laughs> 17 all, one all in games. And Fnatry of Indonesia with the service. really well she's found some reserves of strength and determination from somewhere and from a position where she was really struggling and in fact who's to say she's not struggling now because they are absolutely out Lost on their it. yeah they're out on their feet they really are putting everything into this no more than you'd expect of course the axiata cup exposes everybody and and to see these girls really battle to the end it's, uh, it's fantastic. It's a war of attrition at the moment. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Yes. Uh, that was an easy shot to make, but once again, the pressure and the uh, situation now is completely different. Really tough, you know, for a to and analyze this particular match. Very, very difficult because there's been some brilliant, brilliant performances. Excellent shots, great rallies, and then you get the fluffed up stuff like that. 1917, Indonesia.
Too good. Great. Too yeah. good. 2017. Three match points. Linda Wayne for Nitri. She really deserves that position. And you know the big difference is when she's putting the shuttle up high to get the players in, she is in again has not been able to get the power play. She doesn't have that big, big, powerful, booming smash that her opponent has. That's the difference, and that's why we've got a 2017 match point situation for Indonesia. It's unbelievable to come back from the Indonesian Panatri, indeed. Well, uh, 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 yeah. still has that. Remember that in the first and second game, she came back. 17-19. Certainly got a, a very healthy attitude, never say die, that's for sure. It's been a great match, I have to say, whoever oh, yes. wins it, really, you know, they deserve the win, of course they will, but, uh, yeah. Each point it has some story in it, and then they've been playing over an hour and 15 minutes too, so, oh. It's a big match. Yes. 18-20, two match points for Natri, who has received it. Cup to start its second day. It's Singa Ying from Singapore who's lost now two in a row on two days. But I tell you what, she really, really battled there. And the big difference, I'm afraid, Let's was the fact that Benetri has that huge gun. It is called the forehand smash. Ultimately, that was the big difference. What a game. Yes, indeed, that she came back with starting to play with more aggressive. Uh, everything that goes up got to go down and she forced herself she knows she was down with the uh, endurance itself and that the will gone the will it's very very impressive well done toto is indonesian he's witnessed another indonesian victory that is now five in a row and it's looking good for the defending champions great work there ultimately from uh, Linda Weni Fanetri, and we now look forward to the next matchup. It's another famous name from Indonesia, Tommy Sugiato against uh, Ashton Chen. That's the next matchup. Hope you can stay with us.